back and here we have our program again and all we're gonna add is we're gonna add uh, a parser to parse command line arguments um, server administration administrators they like command line arguments because it makes it a whole lot easier for them to quickly manage programs and run them so I'm gonna use pop parse kind of an outdated library the current one that people are using or the one most people are using is arg parse which is newer op parse is discontinued but I like using it so we're gonna need our parser I have to call up on op parse the option parser underscore option p now these first two are going to be choices for the command line the destination of where the information is stored the options or arguments that go with it for this we have to define a variable type which is going to be integer and help Gotta be a capital H. Capital H. Um, put define port for server to use. Now I'm gonna add another option. Used here. Yep. Type equals string and help is set server root document. Say that real quick just in case something happens. Double check it. Looks good. Alright. So, because of that line of code, this is now obsolete. This isn't obsolete. This just needs to be changed. This needs to be changed. I think it's options dot root. Yep. Now we just need to make a few changes here. Let me run it real quick. And we will see what goes on. Uh oh, got an error. That would explain it. Forgot the R. There you go. Now we've got it running. Double check it. Bingo. All right. What we did <coughs> is we made the program to take command line arguments. Uh, this is really, really helpful. It saves a lot of time whenever uh, you get to know the program and uh, simply what it does is it allows for programs to be ran in one line and allows the program to be customized per se you know add in their own uh, options you know so whenever do the python web serve dot pi 
y it's just an example and we're gonna set port equal to 8,000 all right so what this means is all right Python we're gonna run webserve.py and we are gonna take the option port and give it the argument of 8,000 so it basically it does exactly the same right here it takes port which if you notice our destination is port because that's where 8,000 is going to be stored port equals 8,000 so this takes 8,000 puts it in port right here so that way whenever options that port is called up it uses 8,000 just like whenever we set port equal to 8,000 and just had port here when port was called up it was really calling up 8,000. Now, whenever we call the second part, which is root, this one we're just going to say users or server. So it's whenever it sees root, it sees root is equal to the directory server, and it puts it right here. So server gets put in the destination of root which gets called up by options.root now you may say I still don't understand the reason for doing this uh, one-liners instead of uh, you know if we didn't have this right here if we didn't have this and this wasn't commented out for uh, for an administrator for an administrator to be able to change what port to run on they would actually have to open up the configuration files well that takes time reading and a lot of sorting through because something like Apache is a couple hundred lines that they have to read through <coughs> so this allows it to be quicker and allows for faster uh, customization makes it easy and uh, I think that's about it that I can go over. I know I had something on my mind a second ago. Mm. All right, you see the help? All right, first let's talk about this. All right, these two right here is the op is the arguments that it can take. So we can run it as Python webserve.py port equals eight thousand, or we can run it as Python web serve dot pi p and then eight thousand both will work. Some people like I prefer doing this. Some people prefer don't like to type as much and like to do that. So that's what these are. Destination is where this value right here gets stored. The type is integer. You don't always have to do it, but this program kind of required it working with these libraries required me to declare the integer type so or to declare the type of um, information that could be stored in the variable uh, int just stands for integers which is numbers down here string string is anything this is a string this is a string this is a string so Integers only take numbers. If you try and take an integer and you know try and set it equal to letters, it's not going to work. Help right here defines this serve.py. And the beautiful thing about uh, op parse and it's also an arg parse too is anytime you do dot dash h or dash dash help. You will get this. It's already pre-done for you, which is where that help co comes in. If you notice the help, what it's set equal to is exactly right here. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, hope you have a better understanding of servers. And uh, looking forward to making.